How's it going? If you've clicked on this video, it's likely that you suffer from some piriformis tension, tightness, or pain. Maybe you have piriformis syndrome or you have sciatic nerve pain. In that case, please stay and watch the video. I'm going to be showing you some resistance stretches to help strengthen and lengthen the whole area around the piriformis so that you will experience freedom and ease. If we haven't met yet, my name is Frances Eve. I've created Holy Stretch to help you learn how to feel good in your body and feel free. If stretching and self-massage is something that you're interested in learning more about, definitely subscribe to the channel. There's a lot more videos like this one. If you're unsure what the piriformis is, it's a small flat muscle underneath the gluteus, so it's right in the middle of your butt, and it can actually cause a lot of pain in the hamstrings and the whole leg. So in order to avoid that, we can do some simple stretches. All you need is your mat or someplace to lay on the floor and keep going. Let's get started. All right, let's get started. So what we wanna do first is get into a low lunge on the left side. Or if you're mirroring me, you can do your right side. And just start to open up the hip flexors, the hips, and allow the hips to just sink down towards the ground. Creating some space in the sacrum area. And start to connect with your breath. Go ahead and start to walk that foot over to the right side. And we're going to ease our way into pigeon. So just coming back and forth, loosening up some of the tension in the hips. You might observe some popping or cracking. This is all normal. Starting to get into the pigeon. Don't worry about what this looks like. I want you to just feel your hips opening. Starting to feel a little looser. Now what we're going to do is contract the glute, clasp the hands behind you, and pull yourself up with those glute muscles and come down. So this is a resistance stretch where I'm pulling myself up using the contraction of my glutes and then coming down, keeping them a bit contracted as to get a deeper stretch. So you wanna do about 10 or 15 of these, coming up and coming down, all using the contraction of the glutes, squeeze up and resistance down. Excellent. After you've done about 10 or so of those, we come bring that leg even further across the body and sitting back down. You want your knees to be in alignment with each other and clasp your hands behind your top knee. You're gonna squeeze the knee in towards you and push the knee out using the contraction of your glutes once again. So pushing the knee out and pulling in with some resistance. About 10 or 15 here. Squeezing in and pushing back down. And when you've done that, we're going to come into a comfortable position, stacking your knees. If you can't come all the way down, keep your spine straight and just fold forward until you feel a deep stretch in your And gently coming back up, we're going to take that same leg and open it up. So we're really opening the hips in here. And how we do that is you want to clasp the knee with one hand, same side hand, and then the foot with the other. 
And if you're flexible, you can bring the foot to the crook of the elbow and cradle your calf like a baby. This is an excellent hip opener. Now we're going to add some resistance. So squeezing that knee closed, you want to bring the heel down and then you're going to gently lift it up with either your hand or the crook of your elbow. So creating some resistance in here by pressing the foot downwards and lifting it up. This is opening up the inside of the hip and the groin. And when you've done a few of those, bring the foot all the way around for a twist. And we'll do a few more of those if that's something that you were just getting used to. It's a little awkward at first. <laughs> All right, let's shake it off and move on to the other side. Go ahead and get into that low lunge once again. Sinking the hips down towards the ground. Nice and easy, you can let that knee fall out. And then walking the foot over to the left to ease your way into pigeon. So coming forward and back, noticing the increase in flexibility in your hip. And dropping into pigeon. We're contracting the glute here and clasping the hands behind. Lifting up, coming down, lifting up, folding down, squeezing up folding down. It's a little workout for your glutes. Keeping some resistance in here. Folding forward and pulling back. That's right. And coming up, we want to keep bringing that leg around so that your knees are stacked. Hands clasped behind the knee. Now we're creating resistance in that hip. So pulling the knee towards you and pulling it back down with the tension in the muscles in the quad and the IT bands, the TFLs pushing down as you're lifting up. And when you've done a few of those, rest and breathe. And rolling back up, we're going to do a little twist in here, creating balance on both sides, breathing into your spine, creating flexibility. And we get to cradle the leg. So with the same arm, you want to grab onto the knee and with the opposite arm, either the foot comes into the crook of the elbow or the hand, whatever's feeling good for you. And we'll rock the baby, opening that hip, cradling the calf. Adding resistance, remember we're kicking down and we're lifting up. So we're kicking down with the heel and then we lift up the heel. We can even play with pushing the knee over to the side, finding different angles, what opens up your hip the best. After a few of those, come into butterfly. We'll do a little simple stretch in here to relax the hips. And then we're gonna add resistance. So hands come to the outer sides of the knees. We're going to pull the knees together as the knees push out against our hands. So here's resistance in here. Knees are pushing out against the hands and the hands pull the knees up towards each other. So this is a great 
workout and stretch for those outer hips. Squeezing up and down. Coming back into the cradle, we want to see if there's any more flexibility that was created in here. So let's play with that, lifting the leg up. And cradling. <laughs> and Playing with the other leg, see if there's more space. And cradling. <laughs> Who knew you were giving birth to two new babies in this video? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that your piriformis muscle feels so much better and that you're so much more flexible in your hips. Feel free to stretch your legs and shake them out. And I can't wait to see you in the next stretch videos. Take care.